In this video we're going to talk about noise reduction because usually when you shoot in a dark environment there will be noise in the background and that could actually ruin your footage. It usually happens when you use a high ISO or when something is underexposed. In this video we're going to show you how to do that but before we start my name is Rico Richardson. I make weekly videos on DaVinci and Darktable so if that's something that you're into please consider subscribing. Now let me show you how to get rid of it. Right, so I've put a clip on my timeline and now we need to go to the color tab because that's the place where we're going to address the noise. Now this image was shot or this video was shot during broad daylight. But let me just zoom in. You'll see that my face is properly exposed but here in the background there's so much noise. And over here as well so much noise and I want to address that and I'm going to show you how to do that. So DaVinci Resolve has two ways to do this. Temporal noise reduction and spatial noise reduction. If you don't see this you'll probably see this. So what you need to do is you need to go over here which are the motion effects. And this is where we're going to edit the noise. Now before we start I need to make sure that you fully understand what the difference is between temporal noise reduction and spatial noise reduction. Temporal noise reduction that kind of works by comparing the details between a set number of frames which are these and you make the amount of frames higher when there is more movement in your video and when there's less movement in your video you select a lower frame. I'm moving in this video so there's not a lot of movement going on. I wiggle the phone about. So in this case I'm going for two and see how that goes. Now the motion estimated type is what's going to define how fast the movement is. So I'm going to change this to better. And the motion range is set from medium, large or small. But in this case I'm going to keep it on medium. And because the temporal noise reduction compares details between a set number of frames and it eliminates per frame changes, it takes up a lot of RAM. Now spatial noise reduction looks at details in the nearby pixels to figure out what is noise and then averages everything out. So those are two different ways to use it. But keep in mind that if you use spatial noise reduction, the image will become way, way more soft than when you're using temporal noise reduction. And don't forget when you add noise reduction, you might as well add some sharpening in as well because you need to straighten it out a little bit to make sure it doesn't look artificial. Now let me show you how to use it. So the best thing to do when coloring an image is to start with the noise reduction. Right now we only have one node and I want to make at least two. So Alt S and that creates another node. So the first node, let me select that and change the name. So I want to add the noise reduction to the first node. First I'm going to change the name. So right mouse button and then node label. And now I can fill in a label. So I'm going to call this NR from noise reduction. That's what we're going to start with. Now let me zoom in the image because I want to make sure that I see what I'm doing. So I've got some of my face here. I've got some of the backgrounds here and the highlights. So this is nice when you want to make sure that you see what's happening in the full spectrum of pixels that you have. So for starters, the temporal threshold has a luma, chroma and motion option and a blend option. From starters, this is linked together. So if I move the luma, the chroma is moving with me and watch what happens in the image. So right now I'm going to reset it. Right now it's to zero. We see a lot of noise and when I drag it to the right, the noise is starting to disappear. And that makes the image so much cleaner. However, what you can do is unlink them. And with the Luma, you're focusing on the light pixels. And with Chroma, you're fixing on the colors. And from my understanding in this image, there is a lot of color noise. So in this case, I'm just going to adjust the Luma till I don't really see the noise anymore. Maybe just a little bit more. And that looks absolutely fine. Now we're going to add some sharpening in a minute, but let me just undo this. I'm going to remember this 35. I'm going to show you the spatial threshold. So let me just drag it. And now you see that we're starting to get weird artifacts over here, coloring, and it looks absolutely horrible. Even if you unlink them and you just move one or you move the other. So the chroma one rather than the luminous one, 
this already looks better but the banding is starting to happen here so in this case the temporal threshold is a better option and that has gotten rid of our noise now what i want to do right now is because the image became a little bit more soft i want to add some sharpening and i'm going to do so in the second node so i'm going to call this node label and i'm going to call this sharpening and i'm going to this little symbol right here which is the blur one and in this menu you've got three options blur sharpen and mist and right now we're going to work on the sharpen so i've selected the sharpen and here we have the radius and we've got the scaling so let's increase this so you see what's going on so now everything is blurred out and if i drag it down everything is way too sharp and i'm going to change the scaling as well you see that it's getting even worse when I up the scaling and less when I down the scaling. So let me reset everything. And in this case, I'm just going to sharpen the image a little bit. There you go. And maybe increase the scaling. There you go, because we don't want to make it look artificial. And make sure you don't just zoom in because usually you're looking from a distance. So zoom out or either use fit. And now it's fit to screen. And you can always adjust the scaling accordingly if you think that that was way too strong, which in this case it was. Now let's say you want to know what you've done. I'm going to select the first node again because we've just changed the temporal threshold. There's a button over here which is highlight. And if you click that and you go to the A and B channel, you see that this is what's being affected. And that's exactly what we want because in the underexposed parts, there was a lot of noise. Now let me show you a before and after again. So I've selected the noise reduction one. And if you hit control D, you see that this is the before and hitting it again, this is the after. And the image is much, much cleaner than it was before. And that's a great way to reduce the noise in DaVinci Resolve. Please keep in mind, this can only be done in the studio version. So if you have the free version, I'm sorry, this won't work for you. And I don't have the same trick up my sleeve as I did with the lens distortion one. That's it for this week. So if you want to see more of me, please click that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking that button down there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!